Princess Charlotte said to wear tiara at King Charles' coronation. Unlike Kate and Meghan, Princess Charlotte was able to wear a tiara before her wedding. Princess Charlotte, who is only seven years old, has never had the opportunity to don a regal tiara. Fans may see Princess Charlotte wearing a tiara for the first time on her wedding day. Although there are no formal rules, the majority of royal women, like Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, had to wait until their wedding ceremony to wear a diadem. This may have been the case because neither of these two women inherited their royal titles. Princess Eugenie, who was born into the royal family, did not don a tiara, however, until her marriage to Jack Brooksbank in October 2018. Her older sister, Princess Beatrice, did likewise when she said, I do in July 2020. Princess Charlotte might postpone wearing a tiara until the day of her wedding, like Beatrice and Eugenie did. Yet Charlotte is very different from the older princesses because the Yorks are not employed by the royal family. The young girl, who is seven years old, may chose to emulate Princess Anne and Princess Margaret, the late queen's sisters, who both wore tiaras before getting married. Anne, the late monarch's only daughter, wore a tiara for the first time when she was just 17 years old and again for a photo shot for her 21st birthday. It's possible that Charlotte will start adopting this tradition and decide to wear her first tiara for the first time in a photo to commemorate a special event, such as her 18th or 21st birthday. Anne and Margaret wore their tiaras in a formal capacity as working royals. As the monarchy becomes more streamlined, Charlotte is expected to start representing her grandfather, King Charles, and father, Prince William, as a young woman at royal events like state banquets. Before her wedding, Charlotte might possibly don a tiara, although royal engagements no longer feature tiara wear. These are often only designated for state dinners, so Charlotte would probably wait until she was married to go. The tiara Charlotte will choose for her debut is causing a lot of anticipation among royal enthusiasts. Unquestionably, the Cartier Halo tiara is in the lead. When they were younger, Princess Margaret and Princess Anne both wore it, but Charlotte's mother Kate stood out the most by sporting it for her 2011 nuptials to Prince William. Express.co.uk spoke with Claire Beetson, general manager of ethical jeweler Nightingale, about who will don the Spencer tiara, the late Princess Diana's bridal tiara. She uttered. I envision the Spencer tiara being worn by Charlotte or Lilibet to honor their grandmother. Given Harry's continued relationship with Diana's family, it seems more likely that Lilibet will don the Spencer family tiara. Lilibet might not have the same access to the Queen Mary tiara that was an option for Meghan, since that Meghan and Harry have stepped back from their royal responsibilities. Nonetheless, Charlotte will undoubtedly have a wide selection of royal jewels to pick from considering her position as the fourth in line to the throne in another news. Together, Charlene and Albert are very awkward and exhibit deep uneasiness. Despite being wed since 2010, Princess Charlene and Prince Albert of Monaco frequently display a lack of passion for one another through their body language. According to a body language expert, the pair appeared uneasy being close to one another on their most recent engagement. Over the years, Princess Charlene and Prince Albert have displayed a variety of different body language traits. The couple occasionally holds hands in public, but other times they don't appear to want to be anywhere near one another, much less contact. Judy James, a body language specialist, examined the royal couple's body language on their most recent outing. For its official opening, the couple went to the testimonial nursery in Monaco. Charlene and Albert visited the nursery, spoke with the workers there, and even interacted with some of the little customers. Judy noticed that Charlene seemed more at ease when she knelt down to the kids' level and spoke to them at one point. The mum of two looked shy during the appointment, with her clenched hands reflecting introvert sentiments, according to Judy.